Hey TechBook viewers, this is Dan and today we're going to demonstrate a little weekend home project of how to re-vacuum seal your PLA filament. Wow, if that is a pretty nuanced topic, well then you're watching the right channel here. This is Tech Talk and we're doing all things tech as I am uh, trying to repackage some of our PLA filament. Now PLA filament is 3D printer filament. Usually comes like this, uh, vacuum sealed with some silica drying agent. Why is that? Well the PLA itself is a material that soaks up moisture in the air and the moisture in the air left kind of uh, unattended will actually cause this filament to swell and when it swells it's going to get clogged it's not going to print properly. So what can we do in order to um, keep this long term in storage? Well, the good news is if you have a vacuum sealer for uh, groceries and whatnot, uh, this is the Nesco, a very popular one that allows you to vacuum seal in a wet and dry setting. Um, then what you can do is you can get some uh, vacuum bags that actually fit, fit uh, the vacuum sealer, which is sometimes a challenge because the typical rolls will not fit a one kilogram spool of filament. And that becomes a problem because the width of the uh, bag itself um, sometimes does not accommodate the whole filament fitting in. Now, this is how I usually uh, keep my filament uh, in a gallon uh, bag with uh, some silica, uh, but this is hardly ideal. Um, there are, you know, uh, PLA uh, keepers that dehumidify. That's expensive, especially when you have multiple spools. Um, this is available. Got this on Amazon, dry and dry premium quality silica gel desiccant. This is good for uh, your spices, especially if you live in a climate like us in Hawaii, our spices clump. So if you put one of these in your spice uh, container, uh, this should soak up the extra moisture that makes the spice clump up after uh, opening. So I usually put two of these in uh, one of these spools. Um, and I have had a couple of these uh, just from the original packaging that I've kept. Now, um, typically with the gallon Ziploc bags, these have been able to fit inside of the width of our packaging. However, um, we have gotten some new uh, WeVac 11 by 16 bags. Now, it's important to note that your vacuum sealer has to be at least, whoops, at least uh, 11 inches wide, otherwise you're not going to be able to seal this across. Fortunately, these bags, also available on Amazon, I'll put up the, the link, fit PLA spools perfectly. So this will allow us to get the spool into here and then into the vacuum sealer because the width of this uh, bag is still across our sealing strip here. Uh, that allows us to do that. Uh, I like the Nesco here because uh, you can also pulse vacuum so that this doesn't get too tight. Uh, put too tight, then sometimes the spool itself gets kind of um, bent. So we're going to go and uh, put this, load this up. I'll demonstrate how this uh, fits and how we actually vacuum seal one of the PLA spools. Okay, I've loaded one of these in, dropped two desiccant uh, packs in the middle. And this is the Nesco... Um, vacuum sealer. So this has a sealing strip that just goes across the middle here. And what we're going to do is just line this up just like that. Uh, it doesn't have to be too precise. We're going to put that on top here, clamp this down. Then I'm going to pulse vacuum until this kind of gets shrunk down. So you can see it's sucking out the air. Bring this a little closer here. Once I'm fairly confident, air, this is pretty airtight. Don't really want to bend the spool too much. Maybe a little bit more there. This one is pretty, pretty uh, airtight now. Then we're just going to hit the manual seal button. 10 seconds here. <laughs> Although, yeah, I, I think it likes like, it's like a slow 10 seconds. It, it warms up a little bit. And then it's going to beep. I usually put two seals just in case the first one fails. So we have one there. And then we can do another one across here as well. So we'll clamp that down. Another seal here. Nine seconds. 
eight seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. And there we have two seals across this. Should be airtight now, yep. And this is ready for longer term storage until we need to use it again. So there's another one packaged and ready to store. Let's load up another one. This is glow in the dark PLA. I hate this stuff. This stuff clogged my nozzles so many times. But let's see how it vacuum seals. Smokes. This spool is taller than the Overture spool by a little bit, so it's a snugger fit. But I was able to get that in there with that Amazon Basic PLA spool. Uh, two of the silica packets in there. Now, here's a pro tip. If you can, try to seal this higher up on the bag because, as you imagine, you're going to use this again, probably cut off the top, but you could probably reuse the packaging over and over again um, more than once. So we're going to put that across here. Let's make sure that that is actually flat. This one's going to lump up a little bit. Let's see if that's going to work. Pulse vacuum here. seal and have a good flat area here all right i laid this trip flat flat seal help suck this up there you go i see that all suck in a little bit more that's enough all right, manual seal that across the top. I think it warms up a little bit before it seals. Okay. And then one more at the top here. And then we can seal this again across the top. A kind of textured side doesn't really matter to me kind of which side that is on but uh, we now have three of those let's do the last two here another overture one and then we'll call it a day all right we got this loaded up this is another overture spool of white um, laid flat down here and a pulse vacuum. Here we go again. There it goes. Watch the middle Gotta suck itself in. It's pretty good. Not too tight. All right, let's seal that. All right, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, beep. There's something very satisfying with uh, vacuum sealing stuff. Let's put one more line across the seal here. Again, repeat that. Um, it's like shrink wrapping. I wish I had a shrink wrapper, but again, this is going to keep our PLA very uh, dehumidified, if you will and uh, help you save your spools. You can see that second line there. Save your spools for future use, um, keeping it good for the next round of printing. Got a mini spool. Let's use our uh, last bag here for our gold silk mini spool here. All right, here we go again with our gold smaller spool. Desiccant, same drill, pulse vacuum, just to suck this to the point that it doesn't break the spool. All right, 
right, you can see this smaller spool. That's probably good enough. Manual seal there. So you can check out all the different items that I use today. Um, all of this stuff is available on Amazon, shipped right to your door. Uh, well, most of it. Uh, the hardest thing that you're going to find is probably uh, this vacuum sealer sometimes. But uh, it does go on sale, and it is sold at various vendors, including like uh, home and kitchen supplies. Uh, 100 bucks uh, for this. Um, let's look, take a look at the cost, but again, the bags, I think about 20 bucks for a hundred. That's pretty cheap. And then the desiccant, I think it's less than 15 bucks, but again, I'll uh, post the links in the description. Uh, there you have it. So you've watched me use the WeVac, uh, WeVac 11 by 16 vacuum seal bags. Um, I do highly recommend these bags uh, for the one kilogram spool sizes, just because a lot of other bags uh, will be able to uh, vacuum seal something small like this. Uh, but <laughs> these giant, look at that, this giant Amazon basic spool compared to the Overture ones um, is thicker and oftentimes will not fit around another um, you know, a bag uh, of the, the food storage size. Uh, dry and dry premium quality uh, silica gel uh, desiccant. This is just uh, to help dry out and dehumidify any moisture within the spool. And then of course your uh, PLA uh, filaments, you can get them all vacuum sealed up for your long-term storage. So, Hope you enjoyed uh, watching me vacuum seal and uh, put away my PLA filament today um, as much as I did uh, in, you know, uh, vacuum sealing all these guys together, which gives you a good, satisfying um, experience. Use this again, cut underneath the uh, uh, vacuum sealed areas and then use it, put it back in the same bag and seal it lower until it's too low then get a new bag. So you can actually reuse these bags over and over again. All right, well, this is uh, Dan. This is uh, me demonstrating how to vacuum seal your one kilogram spools of PLA uh, using, the using the Nesco uh, vacuum sealer, uh, the WeVac uh, 11 by 16 bags, as well as dry and dry silica. Hope this helps a lot of you 3D printers out there figure out how to store and restore uh, your uh, PLA filament. Uh, check out all our other Tech Talk videos. Uh, we'll get some more 3D printing stuff up as we've been dabbling into that. All right, subscribe to our videos, and we'll see you next time. This is the Chan Clan Tech Talk.